Welcome to the wonderful and amazing world of FL Studio video tutorials. This tutorial is on a frequently asked about subject. How do I record external audio, such as my voice or guitar, into FL Studio? Well, the first thing you will want to have in order to record external audio into FL Studio is FL Studio Producer Edition. The second is a sound card with at least one input and ASIO drivers. Most professional and semi-professional sound cards have ASIO drivers bundled with them. However, if no ASIO drivers are available for your sound card, you can try ASIO for all. It is a free-to-use universal ASIO driver, and many people use it with great results. Just go to www.asioforall.com and find out more. Now, if you have a sound card with ASIO drivers, then let's get to recording. First, go to Options, Audio Settings, or simply use F10 on your typing keyboard. Under Audio Settings, set the output to the sound card that you will be using to record from. You will also want to do a little setup in the FX Mixer before recording. Go to the icon at the top left of the FX Mixer. Then choose Disk Recording and choose the options you want to enable. If you choose Auto Create Audio Clip, when you are done recording, FL Studio will automatically place your recorded audio into a sampler channel and place it in the playlist. If you don't choose this, you will have to find the recorded audio yourself and add it to your project manually. Next, at the bottom of the mixer panel, you will see a drop-down menu that is titled In. This is where you will specify what audio port from your sound card is going to be used to record from. What you will actually see in the In drop-down menu will be whatever valid inputs are available to be used on your system. This is different for each person, and what you see here will be dependent upon what sound card you are using. So, choose a mixer track, and then choose the audio input that you are recording from in the In box. On the lower right of the mixer panel is a disk icon that has the abbreviation for record next to it. When you choose an input, the disk icon lights up yellow, signifying that it is ready to record. If it didn't light up, or you want to specify a different folder or file name other than FL Studio's default ones, you can click it and fill in the specific info yourself. The next step is to make sure that you are in song mode. Arm the record button on the transport bar, and click the play button. Recording will automatically start and will continue until you push the stop button on the transport bar. Now that you've recorded your audio into FLS, one of the first things you should notice is, if you chose Auto Create Audio Clips earlier, the audio you recorded now appears as an audio clip in the step sequencer and the bottom of the playlist. Now you can manipulate that recorded audio in many different ways. Feel free to play around with the different options in the audio clip channel settings and the audio clips tools and options in the playlist. I hope this video tutorial helped you. And if you need further assistance, go to our online forums. You can find them by going to our homepage at www.flstudio.com.